Good morning, everyone. My name is Josh, and this is the Skype for Business Recap. Um, it has been a, another great week. A um, lot going on, a lot of cool announcements. Uh, we had things going on at uh, UC Expo earlier this week, and, and a lot of good conversations, good presentations there. A couple of MVPs uh, were, were giving presentations. Tom Morgan speaking on development. Uh, Tom Arbuthnot was uh, speaking about Cloud PBX. And uh, I think there was a lot of good conversation generated there. So I wish I could have been there. Um, as of yet, I actually have never made it to the UK or, or Europe uh, at all. So maybe one of these days I'll have to bring myself and, and the hat with me and uh, attend one of these conferences. So one of these days. Um, yes, so the, the mug, uh, not my usual mug. It is spring and getting warmer, but uh, it's a snowman kind of day. So. You know, it just doesn't really matter when it's delivering the sweet nectar of life that is coffee. You just have to go with whatever mug is available. And today, it's a jolly snowman, and I am happy to have my coffee. So, a um, couple new things here. I, I kind of, a little bit of formatting change, I guess. Not really anything new. I had a suggestion from Steve Butterworth, who is a, a regular and has provided a lot of super helpful insight into ways to improve the show. Um, he suggested that maybe I try to rework the angles here to where I don't have to slide out of the way to show my board in the back. Uh, my, my handy dandy board that discusses uh, or kind of gives previews of the things we're discussing in today's episode. So audio codes, hashtag Skype for B, hashtag Mac. So the, this kind of gives a little bit of a, a insight into what uh, today's episode will we'll touch on. Not in its com entirety, but you know, pieces of it. So I've slid over. Hope this works. If uh, if this seems odd to any of you, feel free to leave that back. But I, I think I think this works okay. I, I like the the format here. So uh, good stuff. Uh, oh, big news that is not related to Skype for Business or Link or Microsoft UC in any kind of way, and not I'm not necessarily a fan, but the artist formerly known as Prince passed away yesterday. And that is pretty big news. I mean, uh, Prince was a pop culture icon, and um, he certainly had a huge following. No one could ever figure him out, I think, but it fascinated people and drew them to him, and he uh, he was a very successful artist in his time. And uh, yeah, sadly, it sounds like he passed away at his estate, and um, might be some sort of an investigation still ongoing. There's still fuzzy details surrounding what happened there. He was only 57. Uh, so Prince, rest in peace. The world will certainly be a different place without you. So at any rate, that's 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 the non-UC news for the day. Um, all right, getting back on topic here. The things that I wanted to talk about, um, like I said, the first one here, we see audio codes. I'm going to jump over to my uh, infinity screen and then back over to, uh, to my... Uh, browser so we can start digging in here there we go and did you notice i didn't have any sound effects this time on my infinity screen <laughs> i um i got to thinking you know after someone kind of snickered at it i was like yeah i know it's kind of silly but i'm like maybe i should actually get real sound effects for that but i haven't arrived at what the coolest sound effect would be for that whole transition so i'll, I'll figure that out and maybe incorporate that later First thing here, Mr. Anthony Carrigal, another Office Servers and Services MVP, um, is has shared a blog post that he put together with us this week uh, about an upcoming Audio Codes phone, the Audio Codes 450 HD. And the big headline here is that this will be the first Audio Codes phone with a color screen, a color display. It's also going to be touch uh, from the features he shared with us here. Five inch high res color touch. Very cool. Uh, integrated Bluetooth, which is to me a, a must have uh, on, a, on a desk phone. And then the ability to connect up to three expansion modules. Although he says this may not be available at uh, release. He can't give all the details that he knows because it is not yet GA. There is uh, an NDA in place there, I guess. Uh, but uh, he did share with us this awesome picture of what he, uh, what he got to look at. And it is a sweet looking phone uh, that's it that's a very nice looking desk phone uh, so if you are an audio code shop or a mixed shop this is definitely a phone to check out as it as it arrives ga and the features are announced 
Uh, this might be uh, one of the cool new gadgets that you put on some of your executive desks or whatever. And of course, you need to have a few devices for testing in your uh, in your IT shop, right? So um, that's uh, that's the first item there. Audio codes 450 HD is coming. Thanks for sharing, Anthony. Uh, all right, next item up here. Um, this is the Skype Central uh, blog uh, on TechNet here. And Tony Eversole has uh, shared with us an update for the Skype for Business Server Statistics Manager. It is now 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, uh, he highlighted several um, new features or, or updates to this release. Um, the first one here is that there are several new scenarios that have been added for Edge Media, Fabric Health, Pool Failover, and Registration. Um, so that's, that's cool that those are now in place. Um, command line perf agent storage manager.exe, which is installed with a listener, can now export counter data as a CSV. Um, there are several new counters, including SQL Server, Windows Fabric, and micro, or Skype for Business usage counters. Um, so definitely more types of data that can be uh, measured and looked at there. Big improvements. Um, Watcher node integration. If you've got a watcher node, the agent can now be deployed and that'll report in uh, synthetic transactions for you. So that's that's pretty cool. And then numerous reliability and performance improvements. The uh, quintessential catch-all, it's better now statement that you always put with your, uh, with your updates. It's improved. Reliability, performance, everything is proved, improved. So um, statistics manager 1.1. If you're using Statistics Manager already, you might want to look at this update. For your convenience, he has put the uh, links here for planning to deploy this, uh, actually deploying it, upgrading it if you've uh, got the older version, and then the actual download for the new Statistics Manager 1.1. Again, thank you, Tony. Very awesome stuff here. Um, one thing that I didn't really have a um, anything to share on here was the Mac client preview. At UC Expo, apparently, there was a, uh, a preview of the upcoming Mac client. Um, saw a screenshot of that that was shared uh, on Twitter. Uh, but there will be again today on the Skype for Business broadcasts um, with, let me reference my notes here. This is going to be with Paul Cannon and Sean Wilson of Microsoft. They're doing the broadcast today and they are going to be uh, demoing the uh, the, the, uh, the new Mac client preview. And again, this phase of the Mac client deployment um, is only going to be for meetings. It's not going to be full-blown client for all your peer-to-peer -peer IM audio video meeting only. And they're demoing, demoing that today. I'm going to share the, uh, the broadcast link in the YouTube description so that if I actually get this video up on YouTube before they start their broadcast, you can go check that out. And uh, and even if you don't catch it on time, you should be able to watch the playback. So um, that'll be pretty cool to see. Now let's talk about a couple updates here. The first one, this is just, I know there are some shops still running Link Server 2010. I don't know why. It's, it's time to move on already. Link Server 2013 has been out. For several years now and uh, Skype for Business Server 2015 is coming up on a year actually pretty quick here and so it's it's time to get with the times but if you haven't been able to do that yet or your client is still insisting on being on Link Server 2010 for whatever reason you need to be aware that this will be the last cumulative update for Link Server 2010. Uh, the five-year mainstream support cycle has come to a close the next five years will take us through 2021, and in that time, there will be no more CUs, but there will be security patches. Uh, so if you're still trying to run a Link Server 2010 environment as 2021 approaches and have not moved on to colonizing Mars like the rest of us, then you might want to go ahead and consider your upgrade options at that point, if not much sooner. So uh, keep this in mind. Last CU for Link Server 2010 is now available. Again, I'll include the link so you can go and download this goodness if you need to. Um, April 2016 CU for the Link Server 2013 conferencing server component. This is out. Not a whole lot to talk about here. Uh, they don't give us many details about what all the improvements are, but they assure us that the uh, it does include Im improvements to the reliability, stability, 
and performance of Microsoft Link Server 2013 conferencing server. So put your minds at ease. This isn't just a CU for nothing. Even though we don't know what the specific fixes are, things are improved. So, um, sorry, I'm, I'm dripping with just a little bit of sarcasm this morning, I guess. At any rate, that is, uh, that is the last thing I have to touch on today, the April 2016 CU Link Server 2013 conferencing server. If you're still running a Link Server 2013 environment, which is much more acceptable than Link Server 2010, uh, this, this is probably something you wanna check out. Let me jump back over to my Infinity screen and back over here. There we go. All right. Um, again, UC Expo happened this week. Uh, very good stuff um, coming from there. Thanks for all your involvement, community members. Um, I, I saw some some cool Twitter pictures of some of you guys getting together, having a beer or a pint, uh, and and just hanging out. Good to see our community leaders uh, getting a chance to to. Uh, let their hair down and, and hang out a bit. Um, and thanks for the presentations and stirring community interest and involvement at the uh, at the expo. Uh, Tom Arbuthnot, Tom Morgan, and any of you other MVPs or, or community members that were there on a contributing uh, in a contributing role, we appreciate your your efforts to uh, to further the Skype for Business and Microsoft UC product area. That's it. That's all I've got for today. That is a wrap on the Skype for Business recap. Um, I want to thank you guys all again for uh, for your support. Hitting my uh, 100 subscriber mark yesterday on the uh, YouTube channel was a big deal for me. So, and um, yeah, that's that's it for this week. So, thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, have a restful weekend. Take care of yourselves. Have some fun. Uh, put the work stuff away for a few days. Have a very productive week next week, and uh, we'll hopefully see you back here again for next week's Skype for Business recap. Adios.